hello again, welcome back. Uh, this video is going to be on making animations in Fortran, and it's going to be a little bit different than my other videos in that I'm not actually going to be typing in this one. I'm uh, just going to be kind of walking you through a program that I made earlier. Um, and if you're using a different plotting software, it's this the procedure should be the same. Um, I'm using two uh, two modules up here that I I wrote in previous videos. Uh, this GNU plot Fortran lets me send arrays. Um, Let's me write a race to a text file that I can then run in GNU plot. And GNU style lets me generate a text file with all the uh, all the parameters for the for the plot that I'm making. And uh, if you need uh, if you need either one of those, just go to one of my previous videos on GNU plot and Fortran and uh, you can get those to work. Anyway, um, I'm not gonna go over all these variables here because they'll pop up later here in the video. All right. The first thing I did here, uh, this call system, uh, this lets me, or lets you, uh, type stuff into the uh, console or the terminal or whatever. DOS for using Windows. Um, well, I guess it lets type you into DOS. I've lets you type into DOS. I've never used it that way. Um, in anyway, Linux, it works fine. Uh, this mkdir uh, it makes a directory, and I'm making a directory called data and frames, and the data folder is going to be holding all of the uh, all the text files that have the numbers that are going to be sent to the plots and uh, the frames is going to be holding all of the images that are going to be built into the animation alright so uh, the next thing I did here is I generated an x-axis and you can probably figure this out uh, nothing nothing too complicated there it's just an x-axis from x-max to x-min with n points Okay, and this is a loop here that basically just goes through and it makes one frame on each loop. Um, okay, this data name here is a, uh, a character variable that I declared in the top. Um, this is how you, well, this is a convenient way to write to a, a, write to a string um, using the write function. Uh, of course, this A here is uh, the referring to the str uh, data string over here and the i 4.4 what that's going to do is um, it's going to take the number i here um, which is the same as the i in the counter uh, it's going to make it four spaces long and it's going to pad it with zeros so what's going to happen is these data files are going to be named uh, like data uh, 0001.dat and the next loop is going to be data 0002.dat and whatever, and that's just gonna let let it um, let it write a new data data file without overwriting the previous one. Okay, and then um, just calculate the y-axis points for each frame. Uh, that's pretty straightforward. Um, you need something that you change each frame, or else your animation's not going to do very much. Um, I put the i in here uh, in, in the sign function. Um, this is just kind of a random function. It's as nothing in particular. All right. Um, next thing I'm going to do is write the data files, and this plot2d function lets me send arrays x and y uh, into whatever text file I put in this third argument here. All right. Uh, this string here, data front slash, that's uh, going to refer to the data folder that I made earlier uh, with this command here. Um, let me get back down. Okay, uh, the two front slashes let you uh, concatenate two strings, that is, combine them together. So, um, oop, did I went down a little too far? Sorry, I was right here. <laughs> That's all the same thing. Uh, anyway, yeah. So, data front slash. It's going to the folder data, and it's going to also attach the uh, data file name that was created with this write function. Alright, the next thing is to create a name for each frame that's going to pop out. Um, and that's the same sort of thing. And it's going to number these again, plot0001.png, plot0002.png, uh, whatever, all the way through. All right, uh, this next section here I went over in a previous video. Uh, all this is really doing is it's writing the text file that a new plot's going to read uh, to make the plot, each plot, each individual frame for the animation. Um, the only thing that might be different is, you know, this output command here. I put 
um, you know, I included the frame name uh, inside the frames folder that I made earlier. And same thing with the data. Right, uh, then I'm sending uh, this command to the terminal, which is uh, calling GNU plot and the style sheet that I created with uh, all this right here. And that actually is going to make the plot. And the um, the name for the frame and everything is already specified uh, in here. So uh, the data file that it's going to read was created for each frame uh, that was here. And the name for the frame, which is the, the image that was output, um, was given this name here with this function. So uh, the heart of a lot of this is uh, in this in this module that I created in one of the earlier videos. So again, if you need that, you might want to <laughs> go back and watch the video and look at it. Um, all right, and the very last thing, well, almost the very last thing, uh, this FFmpeg, um, this is just a program for that you can use to combine frames uh, into an animation. And you can probably figure out how how this command works here. If not, you can search for FFmpeg. Not sure if this, if FFmpeg is available in Windows or what Windows software you would use to do this. Uh, you might have to Google that. Um, but uh, this works in Linux. And last thing I did, um, these commands here are just erasing the folder data and the folder frames. So, you know, all those pictures I created, all those data files I created, I'm just erasing them to clean out my folder. And then, you know, end program. I'm just going to the console here, and do do timed out. Okay, um, let me clear this. Okay, so these are all all the uh, files I have in my folder. Um, I I went ahead and already compiled these. Um, I compiled it into the program animator. Um, so Animation.fo3 is the program that I've been working on right now, uh, and then the two modules that I used. I can compile that command. All right, so I need to run this as uh, I need to run this with sudo because it's going to create a file, and it won't let me do it otherwise. So it's working now. Uh, it's thinking. I think I created 250 frames in this one, so it's actually, you know, it's fairly quick. Um, output of this file animation.avi. Let me just go to the folder here that I put it in. Doo -doo. All right. Move it over here so you can see it. Oops. Okay. Sorry about that. All right. Uh, so this was the animation that was created. And it's not uh, not terribly exciting, but you know this is this is just a. Proof of concept slash. Uh, here's a couple bits of information that might be useful if you're going to make an animation in Fortran kind of video. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Take care.